Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going to be looking at space weather because the next two days could get exciting. We're also going to hit twin studies on electromagnetic biology and one where they tell climate truth in the most backwards way possible. But here's the last 24 hours on our star. Things have not really settled down at all. More solar flares, including an X1 event overnight that does not look like it produced a CME directed at the Earth, we will see that one of the flares does appear to have sent plasma our way. First, here's 131 angstroms where we can see the bright flashes of the flare events. The largest of the day, an X1 event occurred at the leading umbral core of the big southern spots, which is already turned far enough that it no longer threatens the Earth. But the initial M flare on the north last night definitely pushed plasma out, and it is easy to see. Stereo confirms faint plasma on the Earth trajectory where GOES and SOHO are a bit too faint to pick out. We do still have the large, dead center CME impact expected tomorrow. No chance last night's CME catches up to it, but could get here 24 hours later. A couple days of space weather here, biggest aspect of it is still tomorrow's impact and the potential for yet another major auroral event. As you can see, the sunspots are finally exiting the danger zone, going to be a quieter couple days as we march towards the end of the week. Folks, we've got a double dose of space weather science here. In this first paper, they're confirming that the radical pair mechanism, which plays a role in oxidative stress and microbiological damage and interference, is almost certainly the way that magnetic fields impact human biology. This comes as another study confirms Schumann resonance frequencies as being a key indicator of health signals cropping up, including behavioral issues, and everything in the same area as the 5G concerns people have. Both are very different than the charged particle impact, which is on DNA, mitochondria, electrolytes, ion channels, and cellular integrity. Lastly, folks, an excellent nod to a very real future by the Weather Channel. As always, though, their reason for everything that happens is climate change, and it's our fault. But veteran observers won't miss that this is calling out a green Saharan period on the docket, something myself and Jimmy Corsetti have been saying was on its way for about the last decade. Folks, our latest textbook appears to be hitting the mark. With the exception of a few orders that the Post has messed up and not delivered, we have a 100% thrilled rate. I do not mess around when it's time to package information, and both the PDF version and the physical hard copy are available at the links below. Folks, we are also just five days away from San Diego. The second winter tour stop is at the end of the week, and there are less than 10 tickets left. Same for Orlando in January. Still room at Dallas and Vegas in February and March. Tickets below, book links below. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.